from Annie Cooking in the Trailer Park. And today we're going to be making an enchilada sauce homemade. And that's very delicious. Um, and it's different than the canned enchilada sauce because it's got a really deep, rich, smoky flavor from the chili powder. I'll explain that in a minute. So I'm going to come over here uh, into the kitchen, which will be a second. And I'm going to show you the ingredients that I use to make this um, enchilada sauce. This enchilada sauce goes on a vegetarian, I'm going to be making a vegetarian uh, black bean cannellini spinach enchiladas. So, stay with me, we'll walk right over. Sorry, Kenny. I don't want to knock over the camera my darling uh, cameraman, except I just want you to know, you burnt my cookies the other day, and... Uh, hey, I'll, I'll stay out of the kitchen. Okay, fine. Okay, so I have all these ingredients, and I just want to show you, if you can come up here, Kenny, I've got all the ingredients, cumin, garlic powder, oregano, ground cinnamon, six chili powder, and um, I've got them all in a little bowl, okay? This is all, I'm going to kind of mush them together, you know, like, you know, just, you know, just get it together. Because once we start making this sauce, it goes very quickly. And I mean really quickly. So everything kind of comes together real quick with this sauce. Now, I'm going to start, I doubled the recipe. This recipe I'm making usually just makes two cups. Well, knowing us, we're, <laughs> we like a lot of uh, food when we're, you know, I like a lot of sauce, uh, an extra sauce, um, so I'm doubling this recipe. You could even triple this recipe. It's really simple, but I'm just going to double it today. Um, it called for three tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm going to put six. All right, so anyway, um, oh, you know what I forgot? Ugh. Okay, I forgot to turn on the burner. All right, so now I think we'll just take a break and I'll turn the burner, uh, we'll, I'll turn the burner on and when we come back, everything's hot, I'll show you what to do. Hey, thanks for coming back and uh, watching the rest of this uh, enchilada sauce recipe. Okay, so in order for me to have this really, uh, the, the, oil to be really hot. I'm just going to give a little pinch of flour to see if it sizzles. And you can see that it's sizzling. Can you, can you get that? Mm -hmm. It's sizzling so you know that it's hot enough. You don't want to burn your oil. And Kenny said, turn down the, the stove, uh, the flame. And I said, okay, fine. Okay, so then, um, then what we're going to do is, um, all right. I am sorry, I, I'm just, I wrote these down and now I can't remember. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, you know, we're going to, we're, we're, we're heating this up and then I want to see if now everything is ready and blended to pour into the mix. Now, I'm going to be putting um, the mixture and then I've got three tablespoons of flour. Annie, what is in the mixture? Did you already say? Yeah. What is in the mixture? Uh, I'm doing six things of flour. So hold on. Uh, what was that? Four? Yep. Five and six. Okay. So now you quickly start getting this and mixing it up because that's really important that you start mixing. Turn it down like... Um, just to um, like a simmer, like almost a, a not, you don't want to burn this. You just want it to brown like it's doing. Uh, yeah, you know what? The spices, I did use this. Um, okay, so this is the, I don't know, I've never used this, but I think it should be good. Six, ch six chili powder. So I, I just used regular chili powder, but I'm trying this. So anyway, um, yeah, 
the ingredients should be all in. Okay, so now, you, as you see, it's kind of all, you know, kind of put together, right? Okay, and mm, it really, doesn't it smell fragrant? Yes, sir. I wish you could smell this. Okay, so now we are going to put in our tomato sauce, tomato paste, sorry, tomato paste. Are you putting in the whole can now? I am because I'm doubling the recipe, okay. remember? Yep. This is going to be a double uh, recipe so that we have plenty of um, sauce. Okay, then... After this, uh, all right. Um, so after this, we're going to put in some vegetable stock. Now remember, this goes really fast. Okay, so I'm putting in the vegetable stock slowly. I don't have to pour it all in. Can you? Uh, yep, yep, yep. I got it. Whoa! Whoops. I kind of got it on the... It smells good, too. Mmm. Oops. Slow oh, down. Shoot. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Oh. So anyway, you kind of have to be quick. That's the thing. And now, again, we're in a small trailer, so it's kind of... I'm splashing everywhere. Oh, shoot. Anyway. Okay. So, um, we don't want it to splash everywhere, because then it will just... Everything will get uh, that smell on it. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Kind of a crazy okay so here we are I'm gonna be putting this in okay and this is gonna cook down to make our enchilada sauce believe it or not and you're the reason you want to keep stirring it is because you want to get all the lumps out you don't want any flour lumps so you want that to be incorporated into your sauce, okay? Now, I'm going to use up, you know, all my, um, I'm doing veg vegetarian, so I'm doing a vegetable stock. I'm not using chicken because um, Kenny doesn't like meat with the milk, with cheese. So, all right. Well, anyway, uh, come back and we'll see where we're at, and I'll show you what the last stages of our enchilada sauce will be. Bye. All right, I'm back now, and I've been stirring the sauce, and it is absolutely beautiful. It's perfect. It's starting to get some resistance. Now, I switched over to a, uh, a whisk, and I think the whisk worked a little better to break up the lumps than my uh, wooden spoon, but I started out with the wooden spoon, so you can either probably do a whisk. Okay, I'm going to bring this over here because Kenny can't move the camera because it's on a tripod. But look at that beautiful sauce. Looks good. And now I'm going to add the finishing touches, okay? I'm going to take some apple cider vinegar. You could do distilled vinegar also, but I kind of like the taste of apple cider vinegar. kind of takes that bitterness out, um, and it's a little sweeter. So I'm going to do two teaspoons. Okay, so I'm going to incorporate that into my sauce. And as you can see, while I'm, you know, it's very, it's really a nice, nice thickness. Um, now I haven't tasted it yet, that's the other part, is um, tasting to see if it's a little spicy or not too spicy. So I'm going to do that right now. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's a little spicy with that chili, but um, I think once it cooks down and starts to incorporate, I think it'll be okay. So saying that, you could make this as spicy or not as spicy as you want. I don't add salt. I could add a little bit of pepper. Um, but I, because there's so much cheese, um, uh, salt in the cheese, I don't really like 
using salt in this. Um, so anyway, I'm putting some pepper in and it is a, a nice consistency. It's nice and not too thick. So it's going to go um, on our enchiladas just beautiful. So anyway, when we get back, I'm going to put the enchiladas together and show you what to do.